Hi, this is Jeff from the Advanced Pro Web Design and Business Network. Going to show you quickly today how to set icons in your primary menu or any other WordPress menu. Let's take a look. So before we get started, if you could kindly hit that like button or subscribe to our channel, it's greatly appreciated. It helps us get content out a little bit quicker. And other than that, let's get rolling. So the uh, icons in question I'm referring to in the primary menu, uh, you can see them here in a few of the portfolio websites I've done for clients. Uh, these are very popular and they're very easy to add, so I'll just show you a few examples here. And fortunately everything can be done with one easy plugin. Let's take a look. So I'm going to pull out my demo site now and we're going to add those icons to a new website in WordPress and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, my dev site is called Testing Ground and there you see it here. I will log into WordPress, so WP Admin and enter my uh, password data. Then we are in the WordPress backend. And then I'm going to look for a plugin called WP Menu Icon. So let's find that right now. I'm going to go to Plugins. I'm going to go Add New Plugin. And then put in WP Menu Icons. And then you can see it right here. We will click on Install Now. and then click activate after we're done. And there we are, and you can see WP menu icons is included in our plugin section. So we're gonna go back to our dev site next, and I'm just gonna pull the URL, um, the test and ground website again. And you can see in the primary menu here, I have services, contact, portfolio, very simple, but there's no icons on any of these yet, so we're gonna do that next. So we're going to go to Appearance and Menus. And then you'll see the options here in the menu options that there is a plus sign or something you can use now to add icons, which is really easy and really cool. So uh, if we just click on one of these options here, you'll see what pops up. So now we can set all of these one at a time. And yes, that does even include drop down uh, menu options as well, which is really cool also. So uh, let's click on the first one services and let's find something that is appropriate you can do a search nothing shows up so let's just pick something random I'm gonna pick a gear icon maybe not the best fit but you get the idea and then for contact let's look look for something that's maybe a phone or something like that I'm gonna try a search again phone save then portfolio here. So let's see what the options are. If something shows up for portfolio or not, this is okay. We'll click on that and click save. Now I just have the icons for the uh, main settings right now, not the drop down options, but that's okay. So I'm going to click save menu. And then when I refresh the page on my dev site, you can see what happens. Pretty awesome. So you don't need to set icons for the uh, drop down menu tabs as well, but if you want to, you definitely can. So um, I'm not gonna be ultra picky here, but we'll just click on a couple of them. Just gonna put some in, save, subcategory. And then we'll do more with these as well. Just picking very random icons. Obviously they're not the ideal fit at the moment, but we're just showing you how this works. And you can see there's icons for all of them. We're gonna save menu. Then we'll refresh the page again. And then you'll see them even in the dropdown tabs. Pretty cool. So that's basically it in a nutshell. And obviously there's some more complicated ways to do this as well. If you wanna use code or something like that, but I always find that simple is best and hopefully it'll save you a few headaches. So if you found that video helpful, please like or subscribe and be on the lookout for more great videos coming soon. Thanks for watching.